Welcome everyone. In this video, we're going to see EIP712, which is a standard for hashing and signing structured data. So in this video, we are going to see the open Zeppelin implementation of EIP712. So this is generally used to sign a transaction outside of chain and send it to the transaction later to execute using a relayer. So once the data is signed off chain, data can be executed on blockchain either by you or someone else using your signature. So let's see how we can do that. So let's say we have a program here greater so this is a standard storage program where we have a text that is set when we call the greet function so only the owner can change this value so if you want to convert this into a permit so you can sign a permit and give it to anyone else and anyone can execute this create function instead of you and can set the hello world so further you need find the transaction before and send it to them so let's see how we can do that so I'm using open Zeppelin library here so let's copy So we also need ECDSA. So we have to pass a domain name and domain version. So I'm passing here greet and the version is one. So that's how you initialize a EIP 712. So in, in the grid function, we have to verify the signature and if the signature is valid, then we move on to the next step. So we don't need this required. So instead of this, we will be needing the verification of the signature. So we will also take signature from the grid function. If signature is valid, then we will move on to the next step. So if signature is not valid, we throw a message invalid signature. So now we have to write this function. So this function can only call from this function. So this should be an internal function. And this function returns a boolean. First, we have to create digest, which is hash of the type of data. So this is the util that is uh, given by the EIP 712. So here we have to pass struct hash, which is the hash of the struct, this struct. Let's do it here. So we have to take this greeting. And we also need the params that we're going to send. And this needs to be encoded. And that needs to be hashed. And this is how we create a digest. And this is used to find who is the signer of this uh, data. So in order to find the signer, we have to use this function. So when we pass this digest and the signature to it, this will return the signer. And if the signer matches with our owner, we let them pass through the step. let's deploy the contract so our contract is deployed here 
we have right now have the owner which is our, our wallet address and the right now the text is hello world and if i want to change it i have to call this function and for this i i need a signature so let's create a signature off chain i have created this code using the ether so here you have to put the contract address and the domain here and the message that you want to set so we have got the signature and we have to pass this text here any text other than this will result in the failure of the signature validation and it will revert so the transaction is complete now the text has updated that's all for this video see you again